Hello, Oak Prairie parents, and welcome to the 2021-2022 school year. My name is Lisa Rodriguez, and I will be teaching eighth grade math. A little bit about myself. I have lived in Homer now for almost 24 years. I'm married to my husband, Nick, for 30 years, and we have three daughters, 27, 25, and 21. I began working in District 92 back in 2002 as a substitute, and I believe it was back in 2009, I began teaching full-time in this classroom. I absolutely love teaching math, and I love teaching here at Oak Prairie. This is a wonderful district, and I am so proud to be part of the Oak Prairie team. I kind of want to talk about the things that we'll be doing this year, so I will share my screen and show you my web page. So most of the information you'll need will be on this page here. So if you go to the District 92 website, click on Oak Prairie and find the teachers, you'll be able to find me in case you need to email me and all the information that you would need for anything that's happening here at Oak Prairie. So here are some of the topics we're going to be covering this year. Um, with special emphasis on equations and graphing and writing linear equations and systems of linear equations functions. Those are really the big ideas that we need to cover um, in order to have the students prepared for high school. Down here at the bottom, you will see my email address and the school phone number with my extension. If you need to get reach me, the fastest and the most efficient way to get a hold of me is through email. I have my computer with me all day long and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I've also included our bell schedules for this year. Um, you know that uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is a normal school day, but on Wednesdays, we do have an early dismissal and the students do have shortened classes to accommodate their advisory periods from 120 to 150. So the end of the school day for the students is at 150 on Wednesdays. Now, as far as math, um, these are the policies that I have in place for math. Uh, homework is assigned most days. Homework is due on the due date, which is usually the next day, checked at the beginning of class. I do allow late homework, and this late homework policy re-ups every quarter. So the first late assignment, they can get full credit if it's completed. The second late assignment would be only worth 50% third late assignment would only be worth 40% and so on. But I told all of my students, if there's something going on and there's a reason why the homework is not done to please talk to me and we'll handle it, we'll figure something out. Now, probably the biggest difference is that homework in this class is only for completion, which means if they were assigned 10 problems and they do all 10 problems, show their work, they will get full credit, the 10 points, whether the answers are right or wrong. I'm making it the student's responsibility to check their homework and to ask questions. And I'll be glad to show them how to solve the problems. I'm putting a little bit more responsibility on them for their learning. And I'm hoping that this will work for them this year. Um, each homework assignment is worth the number of problems that were assigned. So for instance, if there's 10 problems, the homework assignment will be worth 10 points. If a student's absent, I ask that they reach out to me to ask for any of the missing work. Something also that I've told my students for this year is if they're at home and they're feeling pretty well and they would like a copy of their notes that we completed in class, I can email that to them at the end of the day. And we also went through Google Classroom and they know that all of their assignments and any special announcements will be posted there in Google Classroom. And as far as our, uh, my grading policies, my grades are weighted. So we have four different categories. Homework is worth 10% of their grade. Mini assessments would be little quick, I don't know, five or six minute quizzes, if you will, at the end of a section, just to check for understanding. And those are worth 15% of their grade. Quizzes, normally given twice per chapter, perhaps more, are worth 30% and tests usually once per chapter, perhaps twice, depending upon the content and the size of the chapter are worth 45% of their final grade. I allow students to retake quizzes and tests 
to try to improve their grade. I will take the better of the two grades. So I strongly encourage students to really prepare if they have questions or need help before the retake, I'll be glad to help. We do review a lot before quizzes and tests. So the students will know exactly what will be expected of them for the quiz or the test. They just need to ask me if they're interested in a retake. When they can come in, I tell all of my students I'm here very early and I stay late. So whatever works for them, I'll work around whatever schedule the best I can. Mini assessments, however, will not be allowed for retakes. Again, those are after one section and it's just a real quick understanding if they understand the material or if I need to backtrack a little bit. And the rest we've kind of already talked about. Um, I will have a homework page um, on my website, but I've told my students that all assignments will be posted on Google Classroom. And since we are in person this year, thank goodness, everything is written up on the board. So there really isn't a reason why they can't get a hold of a homework assignment. Well, that's really the end, really mostly what I wanted to uh, talk to you about. Please, if you ever have any questions or concerns, please, please send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I'm here for you and here to help your student. So at any time, please let me know if I can help or if there's anything that I need to know about. Thanks for watching my video. I hope that you stop in at our virtual open house next week and say hello. I hope you have a good evening and stay safe.